So the gas station I am at right now is the last bit of cell service that you will have as you make your way uh, to Ghost Ranch. And this is where, in the book, Ms. Kim and Marcus take Jenny and Rafa out for some ice cream. Questionable gas station ice cream. When Rafa arrives at Rancho Espanto, he ends up staying in a cabin much like this and has spiders for roommates. Rafa's first day on the ranch, he's taken by Jonas, the ranch manager, on a hike that goes up, up, and keeps going up, which is a little more than a boy from Florida can handle. Ghost Ranch has a mix of artists who come to paint the landscapes, as well as scientists who come to dig up bones of New Mexico's state dinosaur. So there is a museum of anthropology and paleontology here. When Rafa first meets his new friend, Jenny, he's sitting on a bench outside the Welcome Center at Rancho Espanto, and she gives him a green chili burrito, which proceeds to then set his throat on fire. So this is the horse corral at Ghost Ranch, and in the Ghost of Rancho Espanto, this is where Rafa gets sent to work with Marcus Coleman, the barn manager, and he has to learn all sorts of new vocabulary that has to do with horses. He learns that horses must be secret agents because they all have two names. In the Ghost of Rancho Espanto, Rafa meets Jenny, the daughter of Miss Kim, the ranch librarian. Jenny soon lets Rafa know that she hides snacks behind the books in the library. And there's chips behind the poetry section. There's chocolate behind the graphic novels. And here we have the dining hall where Rafa quickly discovers that the Gearhart brothers, the cooks here, really like to make things as spicy as possible. And if they can add green chilies to something, they will, but eventually the food becomes mysteriously unspicy and Rafa has to figure out why. So this is the prayer labyrinth at Ghost Ranch. You're meant to wander between the path that's outlined, thinking about anything you want to think about. But in the Ghost of Rancho Espanto, this is where Rafa first meets the mysterious man in the green sweater. So thanks for coming with me to Ghost Ranch and seeing the real life inspiration for Rancho Espanto. Be sure to pre-order the Ghosts of Rancho Espanto so you can read all about the mystery and the man in the green sweater on April 4th.